Hey, a pleasant good day, everyone. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be our jetpack to the bank for the day as I recap the Phillies' 8-3 to win over those Nationals. Of course, after Trey Turner hit a leadoff home run, Jake Arrieta bounced right back, and before the rain delay, pitched very well. Let me first tell you, Andrew's been busy today, so he hasn't been able to watch the game and is going to watch a replay so I'm just going to do a quick recap tonight, and then likely tomorrow he'll be back and we'll do a post game. And if not tomorrow, I'll do a short recap again, and by the end of the series we'll definitely do a series recap. But tonight, after Trey Turner got it going, I mean that's not what you want to see in the first inning for Jake, but I liked it in the end result because it showed that Arietta bounced right back from starting off slow in the game. And that's what I really like to see, his quick bounce back. And then he pitched a perfectly fine game after that and went us through five, five exact innings, three hits, one run, one strikeout, and one walk to bring his ERA down to 4.32, where he would have likely been able to pitch. He was only at 54 pitches, if I'm not mistaken, when he got taken out there so yeah 54 pitches with 34 strikes so he's a guy that would have likely pitched probably in that game I would say into the seventh if not more so it's a shame that the rain came in but it at least shows other than Hembray after he gave up that 0-2 homer to Adam Eden was able to pitch really well out of the pen and our pen was able to hold this game as well as our team add on those insurance runs it was nice to see that happen I mean, I love to see the fact that Andrew McCutcheon is continuing to get a couple hits a game, reestablishing himself at the top half of that lineup. He's almost hitting 240 now, and he had two RBIs on the evening. So he looked really good. Reese keeps getting about a hit per game now, which is really nice to see. Bryce got another hit. JT got uh, one hit in his five at-bats, which was that quirky, funny home run that Adam Eden went to catch it to try to rob it. Then it hit off of the top of the wall. Then he tried to grab it again, and then it still went over the wall. So that was very fun and interesting to watch and see. But this was just a very good game to follow up to that very exciting game. Roman Quinn is a masterful slider again, as I don't know how you beat a routine infield in, grounder to short and Unless if he tagged him on the helmet, which he didn't, but that was the only chance he had to get him there. That was another flawless slide by Quinn, so I guess because that guy's so fast, he must practice his slide a lot, at least it looks like he does because he's a pro. He's had two big slides for this team now, obviously, one to win a game, and then one also to help with an insurance run, and then he also had a big play, obviously, the other day to be the guy that got the throw in from the outfield in order to make that relay from Quinn to Diddy Gregorius to Andrew Knapp for the other game. So he's been looking solid other than routes to certain balls when they're in the air in the outfield. That's what I need to see Quinn improve at because of his speed. But other than that, no complaints on Roman Quinn this year other than actual route running fielding when he's in the outfield. But, I mean, I just love the way these last two games went. But I'm not overselling it because... It's two games. This team has been inconsistent. We saw the bullpen. We saw Hector also start giving up hits. Didn't look that sharp tonight. His fastball, he got fly balls, but they were on pitches that probably should have been hit and not fly outs. So he still doesn't look fully sharp yet. It's nice to see Tommy Hunter come in, but I want to see him be continuing consistency. I just like how he's a guy that takes the ball. Same with Hembray. Same with Workman. That's why you made those trades. And uh, Biscuit and I talked about that on the Chase and the Pennant podcast, so please check that out. But I just think this game worked really well for us. We kept the Phillies, something they haven't done, as Joe Girardi hinted at too, uh, in past games, is games where you're able to add insurance runs when you know your pitching actually has been doing solid. They actually were able to add those insurance runs because right after Adam Eden gave up, or Adam Eden gave up right after we gave up the two-run homer to Adam Eden by Heath Hembray. Then we bounced right back, and Kutch got a fielder's choice, but it still scored somebody in that game, and that was the play that Quinn had the picture-perfect slide into the plate to make it 5-2, and that's why that was huge, because Quinn got the fifth run, which was really the insurance run, to so to speak, and that's why that was so big to see. I just loved what I saw from this game. Boehm had another single as well to add to his just raking since he's come back, or come back up, come up to the majors. 
So this has just been great to see in these last two games. The problem is it's two games. You need to put it together and make it a streak because obviously this team started off slow. They're now 11-14. and 14. It would obviously be fantastic to put a streak in where you can get at least one below 500. Then if you're going to lose, then you win a couple in a row, then you're back to 500. Because we want to be around the 500 mark so we can then build over that in these next couple weeks. That's what I'm looking to see if the Phillies are capable to do that after these next couple days and string, t or after these last couple days and in these next couple days, string together a couple of these games where our pen looks good for the most part. Our starter looked really good for five innings, which would have been probably about seven today if they wasn't a delay. But let's string together these games and keep it going, keep the momentum moving. Like they talked about in the post game, it seemed like we captured from last game, which a play you win on that ridiculous emotional way. Yeah, you're going to capture some momentum, obviously. So, I mean, that was just a good game, all, all things considered. I love the fact that Morgan came in as well, who hasn't pitched as much recently, uh, and has got and got the uh, huge out there as well. So that was very good to see for us, have, being able to have Adam Morgan come in, obviously, against Juan Soto and be able to get a huge out there. So, And then uh, Blake Parker, he gave up a run, his first uh, run he gave up, but it wasn't an earned run, of course. So he only gave up one hit, and he looked pretty solid again. He just was the most off he's looked, but the most off Parker's looked ha actually was still a inning he worked through and was able to be what you want to see all relievers be. If they're not having their best overall night, they're still able to work through that inning. He's the only Phillies pitcher we saw do that so far when he hasn't had his stuff as a reliever. Most guys couldn't get through it. So that's been very nice to see. He's continuing to look good and build on it. But to wrap this one up, my three starts for the night. One one would be actually for setting the tone after he gave up the home run, Jake Arrieta. He pitched five very good innings. Like I said, I think he would have went seven if this game did not have that rain delay in it. He was looking that solid after that first beginning inning home run to Trey Turner. My other one is Alec Boom. He just continues it. He continues to go do well. He had a single tonight. And then a guy I I don't always shout out as much Andrew does because he annoys me with his route running because of how fast he is as a fielder and Quinn. He's looked good in all facets other than still he's not the best route runner when it comes to tracking balls. But He's looked good in all facets. Other than that, he usually has been knocking at least a hit a night. He got two hits tonight, and he brought his average up to 259. So shout him out, and then a great slide again. Those would be my top players in that order. Arietta, actually, wouldn't be in that order. We'll go Arietta, Quinn, and then Boom. Because I would say Quinn had more of a implant in this game than Boom did, so he would be third in this game. But. A great night for our fills. Let's string them together. We have two straight wins now. We got Noah on the mound tomorrow, as Andrew and I said in our series preview video. If you haven't checked that out already, and if you like what you're listening to in general, please like, comment, and subscribe. But also, please check out that video. We have Noah against Corbin. It's going to be a great pitching matchup. I like this pitching matchup a lot. It's going to be a great battle to watch. I think it's likely going to be a pitcher's duel type of game. But we'll see what happens. And I look for Jet Packs to get another hard hit ball again. He only had one hit on the night, but the one was a rip off of Fetty, who he owns in terms of numbers, and he also owns Patrick Corbin in terms of numbers. And I would think he's going to be in that lineup against the lefties, as well as Phil Gosselin, who I look to to have a big day tomorrow. But this has been a quick reaction to the Phillies win two in a row. And I'll put them up on both hands, the number twos, because why? We want it to be this much after these next two games. We don't want it to just be two. We want it to become four. Because after these next two Nationals games. We, this win streak will be four games. If we're able to close these out. With Aaron Noah on the mound. And Max Scherzer who's a little bit off this year. That if you can jump on him early. You can get to him this year. So hopefully the Phillies are able to do that. Have a good safe and pleasant day everybody. Let's go Phillies. Continue to ring that bell and string some wins together. This is Sports Fanatic News and an extension of Jetpacks to the Bank. I'm Joe Borick. Have a great, safe, and pleasant night, everybody. Go Phillies. Peace out.